This is a project that has no fluff. This is a project that has no waste. Everything is essential and will have an impact on every student that walks through these doors. When you look at Fayetteville Manlius High School, it was designed for the purposes and functionality of the 1960s and the curriculum of the 1960s. This is what we call the, the underpass. And so we have a staff member that stands out here between every passing period. Morning. Morning, Dr. Kill. It takes students a very long time to get from one side of the building to the other. The connecting corridors were not designed to move 1,400 students all at the same time between the two buildings. And so what we have is, is we have students walking outside to create security concerns. That's one of the hallways to get students from house one to house two. One of the, the largest additions as a part of this project is a connecting corridor. Now, the connecting corridor isn't a hallway. Uh, it's actually an opportunity to build a student commons that will also be cafeteria, but more importantly, make the building feel more unified. Um, and then it also addresses those security concerns that we have. One piece that we desperately need is an ability to be able to serve and feed our students in a more efficient manner. See maximum occupancy, same sign that was probably hung in 1961 when it opened. We would have to start lunches at approximately 8.30 in the morning to get every single student to have a lunch if we even wanted to. This will provide some great flexibility and able to feed students, but also opens up the door for how we schedule. You wanna make that pop. So one of the positives of this project is just trying to unify or centralize some services for students. All of our mental health counseling services will be in one location. Looking for an opportunity to consolidate all of these services into one area increases accessibility for students but also families. So parents, community members will have better, easier access ultimately to us. Original 1960 boilers. Talking about the HVAC system of the high school, we're talking about two completely different systems. You have inefficiencies in both systems, and unfortunately you don't have consistent air temperature, and so students are moving from hot and cold spaces. Of course, when you have those levels of inconsistencies, that impacts student learning. Students aren't always comfortable in those settings, and so providing a much more reliable, efficient system will be beneficial to students. Not to mention, it'll increase airflow throughout the whole facility, which of course, living in this COVID pandemic, is a positive because we know how much air circulation and air quality impacts our students. I saw it. Our technology rooms, they were designed in the 50s. It's when technology was known as wood shop. We don't have wood shop anymore, but we're still working in a facility that was designed for wood shop. So there's about 240 students coming through this facility in one day and it's just small. Because of the size of our studio, we've had students who have not been able to gain access to the courses um, because we have had to cap the size at a certain amount. Unfortunately, you know, even beyond the quality of the work that the students are producing and how hard they're working, that the space just has not had the opportunity and the flexibility to grow with them. It's limiting the students because we can't do the projects that we would like to do. Like for example, this is an auto tech class that I'm teaching right now. And unless the weather's nice, we can't work on a car because we can't pull a car into our shop. If we could get a facility where we could house larger projects like that, it would really open up a lot of opportunities for our students. I think one of the most important things about the Capital Improvement Plan is that for the first time in the program's history, um, it will have its own space. It will have a space that's designed with the curriculum in mind. And our hopes is that we can continue to kind of expand those programs and, and use this space to the best of its ability.